So this keynote speech was about some really future technologies. Uh, I talked about using photonic interconnects, optical interconnects, light to ex communicate instead of the traditional electronic interconnects. When I learned about uh, computer dis electronic design, VLSI design in my days as a graduate student or as a professor, we learned about CMOS technology and where the communication happened through electrons. Uh, we at HP Labs are working on how communication will actually happen through photons, light, and it is very, very future uh, work, futuristic work, but we are doing those sort of circuit designs and system designs manually, but once you want to scale it up to really work for lots of customers, you absolutely have to have design tools and methodologies so that tools and methodologies for optoelectronic designs are as robust as electronic sort of CMOS design today. We have demonstrated the, our customers these sort of in this bigger problem that we are trying to solve, this access to 50 trillion gigabytes of information that you need to do analysis of in real time. It requires tremendous computation and tremendous communication bandwidths, and we are not there yet. We need to speed things up by sort of factors of 1,000 or 10,000. And, uh, but copper interconnects, copper backplanes run at 10 gigabits per second. So what we have demonstrated at HP Labs is how we can move from 10 to 300 gigabits per second. We have some ideas as to how to take it to 1.2 terabits per second, but we would like to do 100 times more. So tremendous challenges ahead. First of all, we have to take it, the research from the labs into products, and we demonstrated a prototype at the Interop conference this last uh, last year. So that was a prototype of a product. We have to actually, the, the business units are working on on a productizing that work and so that it's in the hands of customers and so on and so forth. That's sort of the first milestone. The other milestone which is related to this work is um, the work that I talked about in terms of the next gen data center, in terms of the low power servers and that has now become a product called the Project Moonshot from, from HP. So that's the server part. And then we have the networking part, but essentially we need to bring these things together into a future data center architecture, which will run the cloud. But to get to that point, first we have to solve some research challenges, and that's the work that I talked about in terms of silicon photonics and sort of three, five semiconductors interconnected with, with electronic uh, connections and so on and so forth, using concepts like through system vias and silicon in pro product prototypes and so on. So lots of research challenges, but as these technologies get developed at labs, we need to make sure that these get to the products in terms of real products to the for customers. So the whole concept of this micro server, the micro blades work actually came out of HP labs. It was we our researchers got the best paper award several years ago at one of the most prestigious computer architecture conferences. And where we saw the opportunity was in the change of workload. So as I mentioned to the audience today, uh, uh, data centers in the past used to be targeted for these very high performance computing workloads where you need lots and lots of compute power. Well, that's changing in the world of data centric workloads where things people are doing a lot of social networking on the web and Facebook updates and Twitters and so on and so forth and accessing unstructured data. You really don't need to have lot of computing power. You need the ability to access 50 zettabytes of data very, very quickly. So it's about these web-centric, data-centric workloads. For those, if you use conventional processors, you need so many processors, the power consumption requirements will go to hundreds of megawatts, which clearly does not work and scale. So we started exploring the concept of microblades, which is using the same processors that are in our, sm our smartphones. But these processors, these sort of ARM or Intel Atom-based processors, because they are low power, they're actually low power from a computational perspective as well. So to do the same amount of computations, if you need sort of 10,000 x86 processors, you will need probably a million of these lower power stuff, right? So how can you connect these things together? That's the real opportunity, and, and, and that's essentially what, we, what HP did with the project Moonshot was telling our customers that we see where applications are headed in, in terms of these web-centric, data-centric workloads. Power consumption is going to be huge. Here is our solution to the world. The general problem that we are working on is this information analysis problem. By 2020, you'll have 50 trillion zettabytes of, of information 
80% will be unstructured, some structured. How do you build a complete system for different verticals, be it in the healthcare area or in transportation or sensing or whatever, right? And trying to do that, doing this all the way from collecting data from these trillions of sensors, the sort of social networks, the tweets and so on and so forth, crunching the, the data in these futuristic moonshot plus plus kind of data centers and doing live analytics on the data.